Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for Tech. So finally, developer Vikas of Optimus Prime started the development of Rising OS Android 14 build. But sadly, SuperHeroes development may be stopped after this project because most of download links are not available for the SuperHeroes. So future is rising. Today we installed this retrofit custom ROM on my OnePlus 6. We discuss all its amazing customization that were not available in any of custom ROM. We discuss what's working and performance details also. Finally at the end we will check out what are the issues and the bugs present in the ROM. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. We installed this ROM via retrofit flashing process. If you are on the non-dynamic ROM, then please follow the another video link you are under the video description. While formatting who gets the FFS or AXT4 formatting options, some phones started to boot with the new Rising OS boot animation. Let's jump to the about phone details, setting as the Rising OS name at the top of the setting panel. ROM is based on the Android 14 with the new Android upside down cake. Security patch is of latest April 2024. Kernel version is 4.9.3.7 build held with the Proton Clang tool chain 17. Build date of ROM is 21st April 2024. Next I will not discuss in details what's working because I personally tested all the essential features and they are working good. I will only discuss the bugs and the missing feature at the end of this video timestamp. Let's move to the next part of the video that is what's new and the unique customization features that are distinguishing this ROM from the other ROMs. ROM has the personalization tab under the setting. Here we got the lost screen, themes, toolbox, notification and sound options. Under the lost screen setting we get some new animated style lost screen clocks and these animated clocks also working on the always on display too. Lost screen widget is another new feature that I found only in this ROM. Here you can able to add two big widgets and two three mini widgets. These widgets are accessible on the lost screen but after tapping on the widget we need to unlock the phone to use that widget application. Under the user interface and NPN display setting we get the hand view option to wake the always on display mode. It's a battery consuming feature but it's useful also. Monet theming is another feature that helps to customize your default Monet theme colors. Inside the QS setting panel, we get lots of amazing QS panel header images along with the header image offset and the shadows control. Some different style volume panel presets are also available here. I mainly prefer the minimalistic look of Realme UI volume panels. Under the toolbox option, we get the one new feature that I found only in this ROM. By default, ROM works with the Pixel Launcher, but you can switch between the another Quick Step Launcher, which can be switchable by Quick Switch setting. And this Quick Step Launcher offers some amazing features like monochrome theme for the app drawer and dock icons, hidden and protected application setting, new taskbar with the app drawer option, it's more fluid and faster as compared to the previous versions. Under the toolbox and the miscellaneous setting we get the sec gesture setting to access the different shortcuts and it's pretty useful feature and working very good. Smart pixel setting is available here and it's fully working along with the percentage of pixel to be disabled. Some other miscellaneous settings are available like unlock higher FPS, unlimited photo source storage, etc. Under the notification we get the new iPhone notification feature that is dynamic online notification. It's working but it has some glitches. This ROM only supports the notification light customizations where you can able to customize the notification light color and its blinking time. Under the sound setting, we get the new sound engine similar to the Dolby Atmos which has sound presets like music mode, game, theater and smart mode audio tuning options. Next under the wallpaper and style setting, developers added the new Nothing OS wallpapers, new Rising OS 2.0 signature material new wallpapers, new AI emojis wallpaper setting is available and is working with the emojis animation. 
Next part is the performance. Here I didn't check any numerical testing of the ROM using the Geekbench, but while using the ROM I really felt some minor lag. This lag is noticeable randomly, so I think developer needs to fix this issue regarding performance in the next build. Now let's check out the bugs and the missing features in the ROM. The main issue is the safety net. It's getting failed so some secure banking applications will not work because of this issue. Similarly Google Play Store showing the Google Play Protect is uncertified so some application can't be able to install in this build. Wallpapers and style application has only one emojis wallpaper feature of Android 14 but the AI wallpaper feature was missing here. Except this I found one more issue that is not able to get the text selection in the recent panel of the Pixel Launcher. These are some major issues in which the safety net and the Google Play protects are important one and deal breaking. Lag user interface of this new ROM is also one of the major concerns. So as per my opinion, you should wait for the next update to get the fully stable build. Until then if you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for 1 plus 6 and 60. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care. Bye-bye.